Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? It is Lasty here. Welcome to a new episode of The Road to Glory, episode number 64, I believe it is today. Uh, we're going to be starting off with one of those daily SBCs that we've been getting lately. It's called Virgil van Dyke, and uh, it's one of the two-parters where you, you complete both and you get, like, three packs overall. So... I like that. I actually wish we get SBCs like this a lot more often because uh, I think they're good. You know, where you have to actually build a block of SBCs together and then get an overall reward because you get an extra reward um, of, rather than just like a, a one-time thing SBC. So I like it. Uh, again, just sticking stuff in that I had in my club. Some bronzes, some golds that are probably more expensive than they were when I did this. Like it's just literally whatever I had. Like I see, I'm submitting Nacho Monreal there. This was before Marquee matchups came out, so therefore I didn't realise Arsenal Spurs was going to be in that. Um, we get a Jumbo Premium Gold Pack as the overall reward, but we do do get two other packs as well. Uh, and the first one is not going to be boards. Gotta say, I haven't had much pack luck lately on either of my accounts, actually. You know, if you watch my Marquee Matchups uh, SBC video yesterday, then you would obviously know that I I showed you the rewards from Marquee Matchups. Also showed you the reward packs from the Virgil van Dijk and from the one, that the latest one. I can't even remember who it is. Um, was it Diego Costa? Was there... Is there... Has he already been? I don't know. Um, but basically... I got some pretty poor pack luck. I had the odd sort of board here and there, but just nothing amazing. Nothing that's really worth a huge amount of coins. Um, so then we do finally get boards on this pack right here. I thought it was going to be an inform because it looked really bright. I see Brazil, I get super excited for like Neymar or something, and it ends up being uh, Fabinho. So... Uh, I'll take it. I'll take an 83, but obviously it's, it's definitely not anything to write home about. And then I see this guy, Sumahoro, who is a Lille player in the French League, which of course means that he has a very high price cap for a silver, uh, and he eventually will go on to sell for like 23 or 24,000 coins, which is pretty nuts that the, the one player that's of value in those packs is a silver. Um, so you saw my normal team. And in an effort to use some of these loans some more and actually get, like, Perlo into a squad that I've not really used at all since having him, I built this monster team today to take on the Daily Knockout Tournament. Now, um... It's a squad full of legends, you know. We've got Perlo in there, but we've also got icons. So, Rio, uh, Patrick Vieira, Mateus, Ro Ronaldinho, and uh, Thierry Henry up front there. Uh, that's pretty cool. And I've decided to use these custom tactics today. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to test things out. I realise that I'm not playing very well on this new patch, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that maybe just a, a slight change here and there will make make me realize, okay, oh, that's definitely not the road I want to go down, or, oh, yeah, that worked, maybe that will help me in-game. So, the first game I go into right here, guys got a solid, solid team, but so have we, obviously, don't forget, we've got a mad team today. He's got team of the year, 95 rated Kante, he's got 88 rated informed Pogba, he's got Futmas Alessandrini, so he's got that front three of, of sweatiness that everyone has at this point in time, it seems. Uh, we've got a variation of it, of course, using Martial up front, I have used Mbappe before and stuff, and I've also used informed Alessandrini on this account as well. Um, but, we go 1-0 down in in, in what was a fairly tough game, uh, yeah, like this guy scores with Taliso right there, and as you can see, he's probably had the better of me in the first half, couldn't really get much going in this game, uh, and then into the second half, we go through with Ronaldinho, I take the shot, but it just gets blocked, and I have a second go at it, but again, goalkeeper saves it, Thierry Henry turns his defender, forces a great save out of Mandanda, um, I don't, know, I don't know, it just didn't seem likely that I was going to score again. And then that happened, my farmer actually did a good and and, and saved like a, a, a rebound. Uh, and then I get through in the 85th minute, Rio Ferdinand of all people playing it through to Thierry Henry. So obviously at that point you know that I am all out attack right at the end of that game. I needed to get back in it, right? Uh, uh, so yeah, Rio's up there as a third striker and he plays it across to Thierry Henry who ends up sticking that in the back of the net. But... Uh, this happens. So just look at how poor the defending is. I have to admit, this isn't just like a kickoff goal or anything like that. This is me completely and utterly bottling it. Uh, and I don't... Was Rio in the defense there? I didn't see him. Whether Was he still too far up on the pitch or something? Uh, I did move automatically back to like defensive 
But so be it. My defending was abysmal in that situation. And I end up losing right at the end where I thought I just about got back into it. So that sucks because I know that I've only got a very limited amount of games left with one Vieira and two Henri. Uh, so this is going to be the run. You know, we need to win it on this particular run right here. So I go into the first game. Against a guy called Teka Slovakia. He's got like a Prem team. I'd say at this point in FIFA, there's nothing crazy about that squad. Apart from maybe Eden Hazard. You know, that's a, that's a very good player, of course. Uh, but it took me 1 minute and 43 to score a goal. I guess, yeah, I mean, that's a kickoff goal, right? But they may have somewhat been eradicated. But I, I was able to score within under two minutes. So that's that's good for me. Uh, then Mateus plays it through to Thierry Henry again. When the defenders are going to stand off him like that, of course, there's only one thing I'm going to do. And that is uh, hold the finesse button and then just whip that into the top corner. Because Thierry Henry's shot is absolutely fantastic. I know a lot of people think that he was a waste of money doing the SBC, uh, like for the full version if they have him um but whenever i use him like loan version i've used him loan 20 games on my main account as well i always have a ridiculously good time with him he's a quality quality striker on this game and uh some people have the nerve to say that he's just he feels a bit clunky in game that's just not the case um <laughs> but yeah he's, he's obviously doing great for us first half hat trick here today um and then Mateus just whips one with his finesse shot uh, and I actually scored a goal with Mateus now I used him for like 15 games on my main account and was super super disappointed it's been a different story over here I've actually quite liked him in the midfield seems to work very hard and then you know he's actually got a shot on him this time around so it's very situational you can use a, a player for a whole load of games think he's terrible and then actually the next time you use him he goes and, uh, and turns up and does pretty well um so nothing much happened in the second half the guy really held out quite well uh he was a foot founder so he's obviously been playing the game for quite a while uh, had more possession on me but i was able to keep him keep his shot countdown fairly low so it wasn't really a threat in the second half so we go on into the next round and we're up against a full Serie A team. This guy has got uh, Scream Kovacic, Inform Saul, team of the group stage Ben Yedda. He's also got Griezmann up front with Gamero. Uh, and I hit the post with Henri and that is a very, very unfortunate series of events uh, to happen to my opponent right there. The, the ball goes in the back of the net and I get, I get a goal. Um, but I don't know if that comes off the keeper or the defender or my, was it Hyung, no, Lozano that's up there. I don't know how it went in, but it went in. Uh, and it was a pretty poor goal. But I make I make up for it with a, a relatively nice strike there from Lozano. Nice low driven across the goalkeeper. Him using his pace, making a great run. Thierry playing it through to him. Uh, and then a nice goal going into the back of the net. So we're 2-0 up and I feel like I'm cruising in this one. Lozano then whips down the wing. A uh, little heel click and then whips it into the box for Ronaldinho of all people to come up with the header uh, that wasn't to be expected I was more aiming for like an Henri in the box uh, but Ronaldinho is the one there to, to be able to get his noggin on that one rise like a salmon and stick it into the back of the net so we're 3-0 in this one and again feeling pretty comfortable and I feel like I should be knowing that the squad that I've got is pretty mega to be fair um but at half time it looks like i should be three nil down with the stats like he's had the better of me uh my keeper was obviously doing pretty well in that game and then i go ahead and score a fourth with ronaldinho only 10 minutes or so into the second half just a great run and one two from hit between him and Henri, uh, and that is an easy finish you know low driven goalies running out just knock it past him and that is gonna be game uh so i think he obviously got a little bit stressed out decided that he was going to peace out uh, and he went at 4-0 again so that the first round we won 4-0 second round here we're winning 4-0 uh, and we get the rage quit and we move on in to the semi-final in the semi-final we come up against this this is a what i would consider like a meta team so he's got the triangle of uh, buying players like we've got he's got the triangle of man united players that we've got uh, but he's also managed to get like neymar in the team and gareth bale and of course he made a couple of subs to bring off uh, well one that silver striker for sure um but it took me 15 minutes 15 minutes and i go one nil up Mateus again making a crazy run considering he is my left center mid and that is the one with 
switch with the glitch in the 4-1-2-1-2 actually switches with the defensive mid. He was up very, very high. Uh, and I should have played one more pass there uh, to Ronaldinho to, con to get myself a guaranteed goal. And I pay for that because Dybala goes up the other end. I stand off him like my previous opponent was standing off Thierry Henry. And, well, I get punished for it. You know, it's 1-1 at this point in time. Henry then plays it off to Lozano. Uh, the gap just opens for him. I'm not sure how or why, uh, but it, he allows me to get a shot off. I don't know whether he was trying to cover angles for me to play that pass off to Ronaldinho or something like that, but... I end up getting the goal, and the one closest to blocking that was actually Ronaldinho himself. I would have been pissed, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and then some sloppy defending and some really nice passing, to be fair, on my opponent's side of things. Leads to him getting straight back into this game once again. So I can't hold a lead in this game. Uh, I've been I've been up twice, and uh, you know we're back to, back to a two-all draw at this point in time. Mateus takes a shot, it gets blocked, but he thunders home a volley to get his second goal of the match and his, well... Third goal of the episode. He's actually doing crazy good for us today. Uh, that's a really nice volley and a great angle for the replay as well to show you there that that one's going to go straight on into the top of the net. Um, and then, good save from my goalie there, but it was that pass. Me playing that stupid pass from Jerome Boateng uh, rather than just booting it clear. That was what got this guy back in the match. You know, I could sit here and say, yeah, he shouldn't be able to hit with a two-star or three-star weak foot the shot that he hit, but... It was just stupidity on my end, really, uh, for, for me to play that pass. And the inevitable happens in the 90th minute. Neymar goes through and scores the winner. Like, I, five minutes ago or something, I was I was 3-2 up or whatever it was. And then he just comes through and scores loads of goals on me uh, and annihilates me. Uh, I might have missed one goal through that throughout that. But basically, the story goes that I end up getting smashed right at the end. And uh, gutted for it because I, I didn't think... Well, I thought I was outplaying that guy. Um, and as you can see by the stats, I had way more shots, way more on target. Uh, and when we take a little look at the overall stats towards the end of the game, it turns out my keeper didn't really have a, a great time. Uh, two saves from mine, 12 from his, and we both got Farman. So that's just weird. Uh, maybe I wasn't, or obviously I wasn't placing my shots in the right spot. Uh, but yeah, so a very frustrating one to come out of, which means that, we are, again, failing. That was at the semi-final, I think. I don't even think that one was at the final hurdle, which sucks. I'm really struggling at the moment. I can't quite get to grips with how people are playing possession. You will have noticed when at like the halftime and at the end of the games, I often was having less possession than my opponent, which is so unlike me. I'm not a possession player by any means, but I normally play qu pretty quick FIFA, and I end up coming up with like 52 to 55% possession at the end of the game. That's not happening for me right now so I'm, I'm definitely struggling if you've got any tips for me uh, that would be great down below in the comment section how are you playing how are you finding this patch of ours that we've uh, that we've been dealt with by by EA you know what are you guys doing to in, ensure you get victories how are you keeping more possession than your opponent is it just a case that it's a slower game now and we need to adapt to that if so I'm probably going to struggle to do that but again trying my best um, do me a favor guys hit the thumbs up on today's video I'd really appreciate it uh, let's try and towards a thousand likes and of course don't forget to sub to the channel if you're new have a great day most importantly and i'll catch you next time peace